as the Endurance One mission neared its six-month point. Testing on the ground of the next generation vehicle for the MOLE program was nearly complete and ready for its debut. After a successful orbital test, the big Gemini was ready to send the next mission, Endurance 2, to the MOLE, this time with six astronauts for another six-month stay in orbit. The Big Gemini, or Big G for short, was basically a Gemini B with an additional crew and cargo component. The Gemini B's fully integrated flight cockpit, environmental control system, and electronic system installations was all retained, but the additional module was extended to almost 4 meters in diameter to provide for a large passenger compartment. This compartment could accommodate up to 10 additional passengers, or a mix of passengers and cargo a capacity over twice as great as the Apollo Command Module, but with the same total re-entry mass. While it could hold up to 10 people, a crew of 6 would be the norm, and the rest of the habitable volume of nearly 19 cubic meters would be used for cargo. The retrograde module housed solid rocket motors for the deorbit burn, separation rockets, and water and oxygen supplies. Underneath that was the Maneuvering and Cargo Module, which housed propulsion for orbital maneuvering, electrical power, pressurized and unpressurized volumes for cargo, a pressurized pass-through tunnel, a MOMA-compatible docking adapter, and a control station for controlling the docking maneuver outfitted with the ADS. On April 14th, 1972, Endurance 2 launched atop a Titan 3M from Vandenberg. The crew spent two days testing out the Big G before slowly approaching the station and testing the ADS system. The vehicle docked to the aft MoMA connected to the heavy on the first attempt without the need for human touch. Just three days later, the Endurance One crew officially handed over command of the station, 
boarded their Gemini B still docked to the forward MoMA and undocked. crew splashed down off the coast of California just two hours later, officially ending the longest mission in orbit to date.